Okay, guys, this is my 1992 Ken Smith BTCR six string. As you can see, it has kind of a, a figured maple top. I don't know exactly what you call that one, but a figured maple top. You can see here, if you look kind of close, I'll try to bring her in. You actually got a five piece body. You got maple, something here in the middle, like walnut. Then you got mahogany in the, as a core, then walnut or something like that again. And then you see the maple in the back. So this is a five piece body, just layered that way. And as we go along here, we're looking for little marks and stuff just so I can show you. So. Here's a little bitty one right there. If you can see really, really close, little, little, little bitty one right there in the finish. Uh, here's another, I think a little bitty one right there. But for the most part, you know, this guy is for 1992. This baby's super, super, super clean. This is a four knobber, so you got your volume, your pan, your um, treble and your bass. There is no mid. You really don't need a mid on this one, to be quite honest with you. Sounds wonderful. Got a rosewood fingerboard coming across here. Looking her down here, right down the side here, as I show you in the video. Frets are great. Headstock is very good. Very clean. Again, like I always say, this guy has not had any... Um, you know, any battles with any symbols or anything like that. This side on this, Let's see if I can get here and let you see this. Normally I like to do this outside, but kind of cold out there today. As you can see, I wear the old Nike tennis shoes over there. Okay, not that they're old, just that's what they are. And we come along here, look around the base. As you can see, clean. Come around here, and there is get this guy down here without messing something up there we go it's just a it's just a good one guys look on the back here bingo try to catch it in the light so you can kind of see if there's anything that's kind of goofy you see a little little indention here at least i don't maybe you don't see that I maybe mean, it's just scratch marks okay fooling myself here so there it is Come across here, and, and you know, if you get any of the Ken Smiths that are later, you know, a lot of those are just oil finish, but this is a gloss finish. That's what they put on the Elites, or the Catalyze Lacquer, or whatever Ken calls it, and uh, which are my favorites. But this is a six string. I used to play six string back in the mid 90s for several years, and to be honest with you, it's just not my thing anymore. I don't even think five strings my thing. I really just think four is it. That's what I started with back in 1979, and that's what I want to stick with. So, long and short of it, guys, that's the base. I, I do want to mention one thing, though. Right across here, if you ran your thumb across here, you'd feel some of the some of the frets. Sometimes as these things get older and the wood changes, frets are just on the edge here, just a little rough. Not that your finger would ever do that. If you go along the back side here, there's a few places there uh, that are kind of that are kind of rough around the octave. Nothing down here, nothing down here at all. Nothing on either side here. It's really, uh, I mean, you got to really run your fingers in there, kind of feel it. But it's really more on this top edge and a little bit here. And that's just the way the wood settles, and that can be fixed easy. Uh, obviously, it didn't bother anybody for the past whatever it's been, 27 years. So either way, I just want to mention that. Just full disclosure, as the original case. I think it has uh, paperwork too. Let me double check here. Yep, it does have paperwork. Bingo, all the Smith paperwork kind of stuff for this base. If, you, if somebody was going to, which they didn't back in the day, but it gives you what the controls are and stuff like that. So other than that, that's pretty much it guys. And you do get obviously the original case. Smith case, teardrop case that they had back then. We'll shut her down right here and you can see right there is a Smith. And here's his case. And it's in really good condition too. It's not a beat up one. Other than that, we'll catch you guys later.